Madam Speaker, the current state of our economy is like a car about to blow through a railroad crossing. As a car approaches the tracks, indicator lights flash red, warning of danger ahead. Despite warnings, the car tries to beat the oncoming train across the tracks. We've all seen this scenario. The train T-bones the car at full speed, leaving it in pieces. Think of this preventable crash in economic terms. We are ignoring flashing red fiscal indicators, like rising inflation, as illustrated some of the issues right here, weak labor force participation, and $28 trillion of national debt. We need to heed these warnings. If we don't, we face the complete destruction of our entire economy. Joe Biden and the Democrats are crashing our economy. They control the spending in Congress and the federal agencies overseeing various sectors of the economy. Since these folks don't seem to care or want to work with us Republicans, they're the only ones who can stop this out of control economy from colliding with disaster. Instead of steering the economy away from danger, Joe Biden and the Democrats are going to pedal putting pedal to the metal in pursuit of their multi-trillion dollar far-left political agenda. Their expensive socialist plan recklessly overstimulates the economy, pays folks not to work, and bloats our national debt. Pumping trillions into our economy will devalue the American dollar. Combining this with rising prices and everyday folks who won't be able to afford a whole lot, Democrats risk crashing the economy if they choose to move forward with their political agenda, Madam Speaker. Let's not lie about who is going to be hurt the most if this happens. It will be our poor and working class folks, my fellow Americans, both Republicans and Democrats, conservatives and liberals. Paychecks just won't go as far as they did before, as we're seeing already. Vulnerable folks will struggle to afford basic goods and services for their families. Picture that car colliding with a train, Madam Speaker. Think of that total devastation. It can be prevented if the flashing red warning signs are taken seriously and heeded. Joe Biden and the Democrats need to get control of our economy or let the Republicans take the wheel. Thank you, Madam Speaker, and I yield the remainder of my time to my sometime friend from Louisiana. <laughs>